Hey everyone, my name is Matt. I'm a Navy veteran of 10 years, now turned cloud engineer, and I'm trying to build a badass overlanding rig. I plan on sharing my journey in the hopes of inspiring your journey. I was curious how GovPlanet does their auctions. I put a bid on this 2002 Stewart and Stevenson M1084A1. Uh, this auction is supposed to last about five minutes and it starts on July 19th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I've seen these trucks go between 10 and 23,000, so I put a bid at 25,000 because I do want to buy this truck and convert it into an overland rig. Uh, I'll do my best to be transparent with the costs associated with buying and rebuilding this beast uh, to an overlander, but to kind of show <clears throat> how the auction works, this is a truck that I wanted to put a bid on. So when I click on the Go Planet. Uh, auctions it takes me to this site where there's an ongoing slew of different items being bid on um, so i guess if you want to put a bid just bid up um, but since i've already had an auto bid up to twenty five thousand, i won't need to do that be interesting to see how this auction plays out this is disclaimer my first time ever using govplanet um, so it there's about 205 people watching this specific truck. It'll be interesting to see how many of them actually place bids. Um, but the bid increment is about $100. So, uh, and the starting bid is about 4,200. So the way this works, uh, if you place a priority bid, you basically put like a maximum amount you are willing to pay for the vehicle or the item. And basically, um, it will the system will bid for you as long as you have a higher max bid is about to start so i'm just gonna hang out and see what happens so it looks like this steward stevenson truck is pretty much going for about twelve thousand Hopefully I can get it around the same number because that would be fantastic. That looks like... Looks like it is 9 a.m. So my truck should be showing up soon. Uh... This one sold for 19.6 and the one I bid on is 18,100 and the highest bid is currently mine because I set mine at about 25,000. So now we got to wait for about 5 minutes to determine uh if I'm if I win or not. Or if the price goes up, which I hope it does not. Let's see. Let's see if this tab changes at all. Okay, so it does say that this price has changed. 55 bids have gone in. I like this green better, seems more up to date. So we'll just uh, we'll watch it for now. Oh, that 1985 Oshkosh would be kind of cool. We'll start, hopefully we'll see it get spicier near the ending of it, which I hope it doesn't happen, but uh, maybe people are going to wait till the last minute put, to put their bids in. Damn, longest two minutes of my life. Man, that's crazy. It went from $4,200 to $18,000 the second the auction started. Oh boy. Thirty thousand dollars for a Humvee? Huh. Looks like we got about forty-five seconds left. We're almost there. Almost cashed in at eighteen one.
All right, that's interesting. So I think in the last like 30 seconds, the bidding closes and it says it's a last chance to bid. Uh, now the number has changed to going, going. Not the number, but the uh, the saying. We'll see. Oh, and it is sold. I am the owner of a 2002 Stuart Stevenson M1084A1. Six by six behemoth, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I guess what is the next step for me? Hopefully, Gov Planet gives me an email. And then I'll try to uh, film that and show you how that works. So I just won the bid for the 2002 Stewart and Stevenson truck. Uh, so I, a few minutes later, I got an email from GovPlanet uh, indicating the next steps uh, and confirmation of sale. So when I click on this email, it basically says, Dear Matthew Malecki, congratulations. You are the winning bidder in a GovPlanet auction for the following item. Obviously, I know what item I just bid for. At least I, hopefully I did. Um, basically now outlines a couple of steps I need to complete uh, before I can actually buy or take ownership of this vehicle. So let's take a look here. All right, the first step that GoPlant wants us to do is to go to my account page and indicate your shipping method. So I'm gonna go to my account, boom. Wait for this to load. See, please check out your purchase items and then to complete the purchase of your items bought in the sale event, you must fill and send an end user certificate with all necessary documents. Click here to view updated instructions to fill out the form. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. All right, it's asking me to log in. All right, after I log in, it takes me to this screen where it asks me to check out. So I'm going to check out the selected items. There's a title item requirement. What does that mean? Looks like it's asking for a shipping method here. Yeah, so they, for the title details, basically there's like a drop down that asks you where to ship the title, the name, the address. Um, so I filled out that information because um, I didn't want to show you guys my actual address. So, <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to complete the purchase. Um, so you can see here, the final sale price was about $18,100. Uh, there was a $1,810 transaction fee. Uh, God bless California with their taxes. Uh, about $1,200 sales tax, county tax, and then, of course, uh, standard form 97 fee. So, and all, the truck was about $22,000. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and complete this purchase. Sure. I have read and understand it. Maybe I'll read this later. Manage transportation. So let's fill this out. I guess that's my address. There it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to fill this out and then I'll come back to you guys. All right. So I just finished uh, signing uh, standard form 97, um, which was required for uh, me to complete this auction. And I also finished the uh, end user certificate, the EUCA, and I had to email that to uh, the Richie Bros. Um, so now when I'm looking at this screen here, um, it's not paid. Um, there were a couple of financing options uh, to pay for this specific deal. So you can either wire transfer, which should you have about seven days for that, or you can ask for financing from uh, Richie Bros. Personally for me, I had uh, the money in stock, so I'm currently had to sell some stocks um, and then I sent that to my bank account and then whenever my stock money hits my bank account I'll go to my bank and just wire transfer the money they basically gave a uh, location 
uh, like bank banking details uh, for where you wire the money. Um, so right now, the once it's paid uh, and they process the EUCA, uh, it's going to be time to uh, send. Like I have the ship because I live in uh, Washington, and the uh, option was in uh, California for this specific truck. Uh, so what I need to do is figure out freight. So on uh, one of the options, uh, they said S uh, option or bid for freight, and so to uh, ship this vehicle from Irmo. California to uh, Washington um, so I can't this point uh, is not really important right now um, because I still have to wait for the EUC to be signed before they can give me a date of when to pick it up um, but once that is processed then I can uh, figure out the uh, the freight to ship this to Washington so this wraps up the video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, that was a Gulf Planet auction from start to finish and it even had the whole bidding process that's a I've never seen a video do that before so I wanted to share that experience and what to expect uh, when you're putting thousands of dollars on the line and don't know what you're gonna get um, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video maybe the next one I make is flying out to Yerma California and looking at the 1084 a1 uh, in person um, and watching it get loaded on the truck so we'll see if you like the video uh, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching and enjoy your journey